He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. When we're talking about seasons of the year, remember you have to consider whether it's a transition season like spring and fall or whether it is a season of stability like winter and summer when things tend to get static and the bass get predictable. The unfortunate thing about winter, of course, is it's so cold that metabolisms of fish slow way down. And, you know, when I was wish working uh, around bush gardens, for instance, and, and we had to feed all these animals, uh, all the cold-blooded creatures, when it came to a cold night, which we don't get too many of here in Florida, but when it got below 50 degrees, they didn't want to feed any of those animals at all because their metabolism was so slow that the food would actually not digest and literally rot in their stomachs and cause really problems with these animals, whether it be caimans, alligators, turtles, or all of, the, all of those snakes. So the basic thing to remember is metabolism goes way down in summer. And the fish won't naturally feed. They're slow, they're torpid, plus they move out to areas where they really just need to hold and keep the weather off their back. So when it comes to winter time, remember that about the fish. They don't need to feed, and fish will regulate themselves, you know. And they pretty much decide that by the circumstances in which they put themselves. They put themselves in a position where there's not much food, where the food items are much smaller as well. You know, when you go deep, they end up leaving the areas of shallows where there's abundance of cover and food and going into s steep drops, holding on rock, actually holding on fish themselves. You know, the tiniest piece of structure will hold them, but generally just another bass is enough structure. So they tend to group and they tend to just hang out and they can go weeks literally without feeding so they're waiting for an opportunity to come when it comes they will feed and if you fish the vertical lures the little silver spoons and flip them out and let them drop and jig them all the way down at different depths or go out on these ledges at the end of points that are connected to the summer feeding quarters where you know the fish have come from they're not going to go much past that so look for them hanging out there on a depth sounder and you can catch these suspended fish and when the Indian summers come and the warm weather comes, these fish will move up higher. And uh, they're, they're looking for shad, they're looking for just schools that happen by. And that's the way they feed. So with your winter fish, remember, slow, vertical, and small lures, and that's where you'll catch your biggest fish. And some of the biggest fish are caught in the winter because guess what? They've already stored a whole summer worth of fat to get through that time. So uh, you can get some really big fish on those winter days. Just be patient, and uh, if you can stand it out there in the cold, bundle up and go get them. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.